Are you spreading hate bombs today? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, there's some people on the internet, it seems like all they do is spread hate bombs. Christians. People that go from site to site, from YouTube channel to YouTube channel. And I look at some of the things that these people post over and over again to a lot of different people. And it's always one-upmanship. You know, I know scripture better than you. It's always a lot of hatred. You know, you need to hate this group or that group. And we've talked about that a lot. And uh, it's always about, you know, spreading the gospel of, well, dissension. And, you know, the love that Christ asked us to have, folks, is really difficult. If we can't love each other, it's pretty hard to love anybody else, too. And uh, it makes it hard sometimes when people act this way. You know, folks, it's, um, it's imperative that we get this part of it together. And quite honestly, the biggest fear that I have for Christianity isn't that we become necessarily lukewarm, uh, although that's a concern. Isn't necessarily that we water down the gospel, and that's a real concern too. My biggest concern is that we're forgetting how to love each other and love others unconditionally. It's my biggest concern. People are confused about Christianity today because we keep preaching a gospel of hatred and judgment. That's not what Christ came for. He judged sin, and it was judged on the cross. And we were pronounced innocent by his blood on the cross. And you see, those of us who have accepted Jesus as our Savior, invited him into our lives, are no longer pronounced guilty. We're pronounced innocent because of his death on the cross. And so with that in mind and that as our foundation, we have a gospel of love that is so important. It's what the world desperately needs to hear. And while there's wars and rumors of wars, we have wars and rumors of wars within the church among Christian people and Christians spreading the gospel of hatred. Well, gospel is not a very good word because it means good news, the bad news of hatred. And so, folks, this is something we really have to get together. If you're one of those that tends to be more negative, that you have to correct everybody all the time, and you have to have that one-upmanship all the time, and you have to tell everybody how bad everything is and, and how horrible things are and how, uh, how we need to, uh, you know, just get our lives together and we're never going to be good enough and all of that, which was true before Christ died on the cross. But you see, it's not about me anymore. It's about him. And so, folks, let's make it about him. God bless you. Have a great day.